Today we are in Midway. It is fall. It's super beautiful outside. You can see in the back you've got some of the autumn colors, you know, starting to change in the mountains. It's a beautiful time to be in Utah. So we actually have quite a bit of work um, and projects going on here in Midway um, and in Heber. It's been a, a nice little spot for us. So, but I wanted to specifically talk about this subdivision that we're working in. It's Midway Crest. We did not develop this at Millhaven. This was a little five lot subdivision. Out of the five uh, lots here and, and homeowners, four of them will be uh, Millhaven projects. Um, and most of them are, you know, com complete end to end, starting with the plan design, doing the interior design, all the landscaping design, using furniture. So we're just going to do a quick, quick run through of some of these projects. Um, three of the homes are active right now. They're all in different stages. This one I'm standing in front of is probably about a month out. Um, so we're going to take you through and just give you a little progress, but obviously we're going to be back here quick and we're going to show you the final product. One of the things I want to point out, this house, the exterior is a lot more traditional. Um, but then as you pan here to the right, you can see we've got this little section of trestle wood. Um, it's meant to look almost like a, a barn feel with this gambro roof. Uh, that was very intentional. That's a whole separate room that we'll get into when we get inside that we love that space. So let's move on inside. This house is a little over 13,000 square feet. It's a three-story home. We actually have another uh, future storage area that's up over the garage in the attic trust space. So anytime you're getting in the last stages of a house, it actually starts to look a lot worse before it gets better. In the basement, you can see this playset, a slide, everything connects with the walkway. Then we're gonna head over to the other side of the basement. Just a big wide open space here, with the kitchenette. Then we head into the lounge. After we get into the lounge, we'll have a golf simulator here, which flows and transitions into this awesome basketball court. This basketball court is nice and bright and light. You can see from the windows, it enters out onto a nice walkout. Just a super connected, super livable, fun space to hang out in a basement. So we're in the backyard and you can see this house is awesome. This lot is over three acres, so there's a lot of ground to play with. And our landscaping team has an incredible design coming here. You can see we've been cutting a ton of dirt down. That's what's been taking most of the time here. This is a outside playground for sure. So this is the second house that we have going on in this cul-de-sac. Uh, this one's a Rambler and it is a little over 15,000 square feet. So it's a lot bigger than what it looks like uh, from the street. I'm looking at the plan set in the garage here. And one of the reasons why this gets so big so fast, is, as you can see in the basement, we have suspended all of the garages. We've got a lot of extra footage just under these garage spaces. So we'll at least show you those. What you're looking at uh, is a basketball court, but more specifically, it's a new sport. It's called Padel. I know we do a lot of pickleball, but this is the future of paddle sports. I can't tell you a ton about it. I've done a little research on YouTube, uh, had some conversations with the client. He's obsessed with it. That's all that matters. We're building that space for him. But down there, you've got a gym, a game room, a theater, a golf simulator, Padel. We've got a lot going on in that basement. Uh, again, this has a really, really cool landscaping plan that's associated with it that we'll get into later, but it will include a pool and some other courts outside that are just going to be awesome. So this is the third house in the cul-de-sac and all the houses are unique. I love them all, but this one has a really distinct personality associated with it that comes from the clients. Really love it. Uh, this is set down lower. You can see we'll have this long swooping driveway that comes in. Right now we're working on the bar tile roof. Uh, we've got the masons. The inside, we're getting closer. You know, there's a lot of stuff is covered up still, but let's just go take a quick peek at a couple little items inside. One of my favorite things about this house that's really unique is this walkway that takes you over to the primary suite. Uh, it just invites a lot of light. It feels like a separate space for the owners. Got these cool double doors walk into this bedroom with a lot of light again. 
and then into their shower, bathroom. Really cool tiles going on here. And then his and hers separate walk-in closet. So this really is probably one of my favorite spaces in this house. This one's a little over 10,000 square feet. It's got a court, um, you know, some of those fun stuff that we've seen in the other houses as well. Now you've seen some of these projects that we have ongoing in Midway. We actually do quite a bit of work up in this community in Midway and in Heber. Uh, it's a great area to build in. Even though we're based in Utah County, we love to travel. It's such a beautiful location. We've had great experiences with clients. So if you have a future project and you're considering building in either of these areas, Heber or Midway, we would love to talk to you. Please reach out to us. You can visit the website and we'll go over the details. Thanks.